Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. Guys, Mikel Antonio. Mikel Antonio. I'm going to talk about Mikel Antonio in the next video, man. Trust me. Two games in a row. Big baller. Save the reggae boy. See, but I'm going to talk about that in, a, in another video. Guys, I want to... Guys, we were robbed tonight. Literally, highway robbery take place tonight, people. Trust me, man. It was painful. It was painful. It was painful. It was painful. What a thing if this is the if if it comes down to this way when they get to Qatar. Trust me, man. It is in a feel right, man. It's not feel right. One, we were robbed on the goal. Two. That is a clear penalty. Clear penalty. Clear as daylight. Clear penalty. I see the man reach down. He move him hand towards the player. Seeing ref not give away a penalty. What a disgrace, man. Honestly. Should CONCACAF referees, right, whose teams are, are like who come from countries who are in the mix, should they be refereeing football games? Look, I'm not accusing the referee of anything, you know. I'm just saying people who were blatantly robbed tonight, man. Honestly, it, it pained my heart, man. We were blatantly robbed tonight. CONCACAF referees, referees who are from CONCACAF nations and those nations are in the mix should not be refereeing these games point blank straight up full stop right it, it it was an absolute 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 disgrace absolute disgrace man it hurt my soul people it hurt my soul what i think if this is the reason if this end up being you know that deciding factor why we never get to qatar right what an absolute disgrace leon bailey another talking point Boy, oh boy, was barely poor. We'll talk about that in another video as well. Poor. Bobby D. Cardova Reed. People, we need to stop making excuses for Bobby Reed now, people. Honestly, Bobby D. Cardova Reed. Poor. Poor. People, this is not the first time Bobby Reed has gotten a sitter and has missed. Right, a goal that could have changed our fortunes, both in the Gold Cup and now in the World Cup qualifiers. Right, boss, oh, you miss. You see that chance that people it hard a few man miss than few man for school. Oh, the man miss that. I can't wrap my brain around that. Oh, Bobby Reed stand up right in front of the goal, right in front of the goal. I miss that. Worst of all, yo, honestly. Me and say, man, devastated after a game. Honestly, Barbary need to hide himself right now. Honestly, because a few mistake, a two man make mistake, why the team, why we can't see it, you know. Seeing Barbary should never have allowed where to get in front time. Never. So, he's the reason why we conceded that goal. The man get a sitter for make up feet, dash it away. People, Bobby Reed has been poor for the longest. Ever since Bobby scored that volley, Bobby Reed has been atrocious for the national team, right? Look, I rate the baller, don't get me wrong, I rate the baller. But, yo, but honestly, I wouldn't feel that way if the next round of fixtures, Bobby Reed never in our side. Honestly, we need to stop rewarding poor performance with. With a start, Bobby Reed should not start, and we'll get don't get don't get it twisted. We'll get to Bailey too. I'll just deal with Bailey in another video because he my next one. He, he, he my the next one, people. He my the next one. Seen Javian Brown. You see how assured we look down the right hand side of our of our defensive third. You see how assured we look. Look how much pressure Javian Brown came on down that side of the pitch. You see how Javian Brown hold him on? You see how assured? You see how certain things look, right? So much more stable. The right side of our defense looked so much more stable. Damian Lowe was less exposed. 
down that right hand side. You know, long we are called for Javian Brown for start. The undisputedly, undeniably, the best right back Jamaica has available to us. Right? This brother keep on us a play Fisher and Alvas Powell over Javian Brown. It just not make no sense to me. It just not make no sense. It, it, I'm very happy that Javian Brown held his own tonight. I'm very happy, right? Next talking point, Haka. When Gregor Messam, the legend Gregor Messam said on I Am Sure Sports, right, with Mannings man, big up Mannings man, right? Says Haka and anything. Haka and anything. People, you know how much the performance was a decent performance tonight. And it could have been even much better had we had a different person playing where Haka was playing this evening. Where Haka do in other game, my people? Please inform me what has Haka done in this game. It is an absolute disgrace that Theodore Tapa Whitmore keeps on playing Haka. Not even like him bring him off a bench, you know. This brother keep on starting game in, game out. We as reggae boys fans cannot take this. And we cannot keep on accepting a player playing for the reggae boys. Keep on playing. See? And his, and his, and his people, Haka has done nothing for the country. Absolutely nothing. Since he has been brought back into the team. We as reggae boys fans cannot continue to accept Hacker playing game in, game out. See, people, I don't know what we are going to do. I don't know what we are but we have to do something about this. This cannot continue to occur game in, game out. Hacker is a liability on the park. This cannot be allowed to can Somebody needs to step in, people. This cannot be allowed to Continue, it is a disgrace, right? Next thing, Greg Lay sizzled, sizzled. Taxi, Bridging, yeah, you have to go up your game, Bridging. You have to go up your game because guess what? No taxi, boss, your position under trip, brother. You is not a sure starter right now, Bridging. You see your Greg Lay. Forward on the pitch and look both offensively and defensively. People, Greg Lee came on, delivered a stellar, a sizzling performance. Greg Lee came out there today and said, Yo, me for in the mix. On a stop over, look me. Me for in the mix. Greg Lee, as a matter of fact, Greg Lee never come out there just to continue making the team. Greg Lee came out, went out there tonight. The man go out there for, uh, the man go out there for taxi game, people. Greg Lee go out there for taxi game. You know, the man sizzle, people. The man sizzle. Seeing big up Greg Lee, hopefully he can continue putting in those sort of performances, right? Lamar Walker. You know, there were one and two players. One and two plays where he did okay. But honestly, Lamar Walker was just... <laughs> you know what's amazing to me? Lamar Walker has not started a game for the national senior team in this World Cup qualifiers or even in the Gold Cup. Last time we saw Lamar Walker, it was a little 10-minute stint against... Costa Rica, dropped from the squad, brought back into the squad, never getting no minutes in our last game against El Salvador. All of a sudden, Lamar Walker start. Yo, what up? I don't know. I don't understand. What up I do? So him out of the squad completely, drawn back into the squad, never play any at all the last game. All of a sudden, he must start this game. A must win game for the reggae boys. Look, it was clear that Lamar Walker was not up to speed with what was taking place, right? He and his teammates 
were just not on the same page, right? Lama, he, he, he tried, he tried. I think if the youngster fought valiantly at times, you know, I think there were some duels I saw where he really put in the effort. But honestly, man, I mean, to be fair, he did deliver a very good cross that almost led to a goal. But for the most part, Lamar Walker was just out of it, man. Out of it. He, he was just off the pace completely, man. He was just out of it. He, he looked lost for majority of the game, to be fair, right? Damian Lowe. Liam Moore. Is that the centre-back pairing that we need to, to play with going forward? Honestly, yes, to be fair, Damian Lowe was dragged out of position and that give and go caused the goal, right? But to be fair to Damian Lowe, for the most part, Damian Lowe did okay in my estimation. I think that 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 back that that centre back pairing with Low and Moore, for me so far, has shown to be the best centre back pairing that we have seen for the reggae boys in recent times. So, you know, let's see, let's see. I think that is a centre back pairing that we need to use going forward, even from the Gold Cup, guys. Even from the Gold Cup. It, 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 for the most part, it has looked solid, right? Um, you know, disappointing result to be honest. You know, highway robbery, man. Again, highway robbery, man. Yo, the thing hurt me, man. The thing hurt me. I mean, look, the boys crowding the referee would not have made a difference. It, it's just, it's just such a blatant, just such a blatant error on the referee's part, man. I pray and hope that that is not what it comes down to that keeps us out of the, 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 the World Cup, right? If VAR was in place tonight, we'd have certainly got a goal. To be fair to the boys, even if they crowded the referee, it would not have changed the decision, man. It, it, it hurt, man. We were robbed tonight. We really were. It's the best performance we have put up. Best performance we have seen from the boys so far in a, in a, in a good while. In a good while. Honestly, since the Costa Rica game in the Gold Cup is the best performance we have seen. Right? It's just a pity we couldn't win it. As I said, guys, I'll talk about the boss, Mikel Antonio, in another video, Leon Bailey as well. We're going to talk about him as well. So, guys, stay safe, take care, and until next time.